Hey! Grey goes back. Vanzel's Restorations. What have we got here? A sight to behold. Just got dropped off um, a few minutes ago. Most people, uh, they, you know, deliver the car out here, bring it out in the trailer, arrange a towie. Sometimes they drive it out here, depending on the car. So what's up with this one? Well, I looked up uh, Google Maps last night and uh, the location of where this one lives is 2,400 kilometers away. So welcome to uh, Norma, Norma the Dorma. Uh, she has been waiting a very long time to uh, have some work done. Um, I'm slowly getting through the list. I've got other ones, a waiting list, so to speak. Um, so we thought we'd bring this up and then, um, yeah, see what we're up against with it. So, so oh, and another thing I, I found pretty funny, it said um, the, south, the south coast of Tasmania, it's like, um, it said one day and eight hours drive from here in Queensland. And like I've driven non-stop from here to Melbourne before and that took 22, 20 hours, something like that, I can't remember. Um, but this is, uh, if you can get from here to the, the bottom of Tasmania in one day and eight hours, my hat's off to you. So uh, yeah, so let's look at the car, let's look at Norma. So I think it's a 79 um ex west australian car um no sorry yes no i guess might be a different model 70 75 76 i haven't got my glasses on so uh yes a mostly original bus so to speak um but the problem is is that there's definitely some uh gnarly areas there's been some previous repairs done and um yeah it's looks like we need to get back to what's real uh when the owners originally said that it sort of was mostly original i um sort of spotted the blue paint in the in the video and I thought, well, that's definitely not original. It's had some repairs there. Um, it's definitely had a few knocks. But there is glimmers of where it hasn't been, where it is original. And then there's, it's just had a few areas and repairs done over the years. This looks like it's really good, the whole back part there. But, yeah, definitely a bit of, bit of a bingle there. And there's something... Uh, something going on around here for sure it's had a bit of a, a smash because we've got some gaps there so definitely a bit of metal work needed there um the gutters are definitely uh, a bit of an issue so the best well i suppose if you if you compare it to uh, some of the other ones we get here they're actually not too bad and that's more to do with the um Dormobile design where uh, uh, water can't actually get trapped underneath the roof itself. So um, the top itself, the, the material has definitely seen better days. I think that might let a few mozzies in there. Uh, but we've really, I like this bus, I like it. So this door, for instance, you can generally tell from the the paint on it that the you know factory finish has a certain sheen to it and this door looks like 100 percent original never been touched and other than a few stone chips uh this one's the same except for a patch through here the um sliding door works fantastic so and looking alongside it that's how you tell 
that looks all original up here and then just some a, a spot repair there and a spot repair down here um, the gutter is definitely ugly but we're going to work on that going to get some sandblast in action going so it's it's the best way to when you're tackling things like this so this has got one of these um, reverse spare wheel holders this one looks undamaged and well salvageable it hasn't um, pushed that in or anything drastically so that certainly can be redone so um, headlights look fantastic but uh, one part that impressed me we had to drive it down here apparently I had a flat battery on the back of the truck but um, old mate had a jump started with him and he just drove it uh, to the house here um, yeah what do we see here where are those carburetors that's right there ain't no carbies where this one's from so yeah fuel injected baby so um, uh, just looking at this up here should that be attached to anything I don't know but I tell you what I haven't had I haven't driven a fuel injected type 4 before and oh my god it's smooth that just the um it's so easy to drive smoothly like just doing the little loop around the backyard it just the lightest throttle pressure just um oh, hello flies must be summer uh lightest throttle pressure and it just glides along like compared to carbies and whatever it's just plus it's got looks like a, an original vacuum advanced distributor that i love and um yeah so you can see the throttle body down the back there everything's completely different but in a good way so i'm thinking yeah we'll just have to see how far we're going to go with it as to whether we're going to do anything in the engine bay doesn't look like there's any rust um i don't know why whether they were that way from standard i'm not sure there's a big heavy cable going across here i don't know whether that's original i don't think so <laughs> but yeah for some reason the batteries on that side normally your auxiliary battery goes there and your main starting batteries over there but anyway that's irrelevant because it does start and does run and runs really nicely so the engine sounds um sounds good it might even have um hydraulic tappets on it so uh yeah hydraulic lifters so we're looking at uh, a fairly original bus that's had some some uh, knocks and scrapes and repairs over the years because as i was saying to the owner the um you know none of this blue paint was ever it wasn't a factory option it just looks like that's uh, some form of primer that they've had this is pretty gnarly along here, so I'm not sure the story uh, why it would rust there. It's obviously come from the inside because there's nowhere for the water to sit on the outside. So uh, I guess the blasting will reveal all. So, but getting it blasted's uh, half the half the battle because uh, we've. There's a waiting list for old mate because he's really good and reasonably priced. And I've just, I've got um, Kia, the dual cab, next on the list. And uh, then this one's after that. So, so we will um, commence with a bit of tear down. But um, basically, uh, Miss Peaches is almost done. So we want to get that down the road and then Andrew can finish the welding on Chile and that's when he can start the welding on this. So if we just get it in the loop where it's a few things are taken off and the, and the sandblaster when he's available, um, book her in. And that's when we're going to know the true signs. See, even the rest of this front um it's definitely had a bit of work but i would definitely thought we would see more rust holes there and like this scrape has been touched up but that can be panel beaded out and this here uh is just the start of 
the rust coming from the inside, so we'll cut that out. But overall, Norma is um, going to be looked after here at Van Zals Restorations. Um, and so will Chile, and so will Kiek, and so will Moy Macy, and so will Rosetta, and all the others in the loop. So uh, bear with us, where well, there's only two of us here, and, and some projects, they come in, you think they're only gonna take a little time, and then they take a lot more, and that, that's the nature of the beast. So uh, you've just gotta be patient. If you're on, on our list, we will get to them eventually. So, all right. Grego out for now and we'll um, talk to you later.